Okay, today we're going to do a jackalope. I don't know if I'd consider this really taxidermy or it's kind of a put something together deal, but I don't like to spend a lot of time on jackalopes because 90% of them you do are going to be wholesale. If you do them, they're actually, if I was looking for a really part time income, I'd probably do jackalopes. Rotten. I, one time I had wholesale accounts, I could do a couple hundred a year. And if I was working somewhere else full time, think about these are 45 minutes to an hour, I can have one on the form and be ready to let it dry. But as you noticed, we thawed this out this morning. We, I just threw it in mostly cold water. I put a little warm in it to speed things up a little bit. But about an hour usually to thaw them out. I'll skin a rabbit when it comes in in the fall and put it in a... Most time I'll put four or five, depends on how many I got in a gallon Ziploc bag or I'll put one in, one or two in a quart Ziploc bag and pull them out and thaw them out as I want them. If I knew I wanted to do it right away in the morning, I'd probably throw it out on the table in the bag overnight and let it thaw and rinse it out in the morning, but you got to rinse the blood out. Rabbits seem to be really bad about having blood. So I rinse them in good cold water with blood, squeeze them out, get most of the moisture out, and then I'll put them in borax, which you just watched me do. And then the first step is after that is I start working the big, getting the meat off. Now they're a really thin, fine skinned animal, so don't just grab and start pulling, expecting not to have problems. You know, you, some of this you may want to trim off with the scissors if it's too thick, but get the majority of that meat off, cleaned up. Be really careful up around the neck area here. They're really thin up in the neck, neck and face area. 